Hi, in this video, we will talk about the operation of sets. These are the basic operations of sets. Number one, the union of sets. Number two, the intersection of sets. Number three, complement of the set. Number four, Cartesian product of sets. And number five, difference of sets. Number one, union of sets. The union of sets A and B written as A, union B, or it can be said as the union of A and B, is the set of elements that are members of set A or of set B or of both sets. This definition can be expressed in set builder notation as the union of A and B be the set of all X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. Or the union of A and B be the set of all X such that X belongs to A or to B or both. This new set contains all the elements of set A and all elements of set B with no repetition of elements and is named as the union of set A and B. Example number one. Set A be the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, and set B be the set of 4, 5, 6, and 7. Notice that we have element 4 in set A, and we also have element 4 in set B. We will only take one element of it in finalizing our answer because we are not allowed to have repetitions. The union of a and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Example number 2. M is the set of 2, 4, 5, 6. And N is the set of 4, 6, 7, and 8. Notice that we have 4 and 6 in set N. And we also have 4 and 6 in set M. So we are not allowed to have repetition, so we will only take one of these repetitive elements. So the union of M and N is equal to the set of 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Example number three, let X be the set of B, C, D, and Y is an empty set or null set. In this case, the union of X and Y is equal to the set of B, C, and D. We can represent these union sets in Venn diagram. Let us take this for example. If set A be the set of 2, 5, and 7, and B is the set of 1, 2, 5, and 8, find the union of A and B using Venn diagram. So we have to illustrate this using Venn diagram. But before doing the Venn diagram, let us observe that there are common elements between set A and set B. We have here elements 2, 5, and we have elements 2, 5 also in set B. So to begin with our Venn diagram, we are going to make a rectangle with letter U on the side representing the universal set. And then since there are common elements, so we are going to make two overlapping circles. And each circle will be labeled as A and B, representing set A and set B. This overlapping area is the common elements. This is the place that we are going to indicate the common elements. So in this case, the first thing that I will write is based on set A, and I will write the unique element, which is 7. And then I'll be writing the common elements in the overlapping area between the circles of A and B. It means this 2 and 5 belongs to set A, and it also belongs to set B. The next thing that I will do is to write the remaining unique elements of set B, which are 1 and 8. So to find the answer, what is the union of A and B? It is equal to the set of 1, 2, 5, 7, and 8. 
Let's have another situation. Using Venn diagram, find the elements of set A, set B, and the union of A and B. So we have here a Venn diagram. We have two overlapping circles, meaning 5 and 8 is present in set A, and it is also present in set B. So this 0, 1, and 3 are unique elements of set A. And these 2 and 9 are unique elements of set B. So our set A is 0, 1, 3, 5, and 8. And our set B is 2, 5, 8, 9. And then for our union, so we have to list all of these elements. The union of A and B is equal to the set of 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and 9. So that is union sets. We have to list down all elements from set A, set B, set C, set D, or more sets, but there are no repetition of elements.